Hello and welcome to Smart Digital's Handy Theatre Tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at the 2.5 metre screen, which should take roughly 10 to 15 minutes to set up. This package comes with 2.5 metre screen, projector, projector stand, speakers, pegs, cable and blower. When setting up, make sure you have enough room for your projector and your audience. When finding a space, take into consideration the following. Natural light, artificial light, and sprinkler systems. Although not supplied, we recommend you use a tarp to keep your screen clean. Roll out your screen onto the tarp and fold it out so that it's folded in half. Untie the tethers. Measure out how far the tether stakes are from your screen. There are two intake valves. Make sure one is sealed when inflating or else the air will just go in one side and out the other. The valve is made up of three separate parts. A two-way valve to let the air in and out connected to the screen. A one-way valve for topping up your screen and a cap. You are supplied with different blower heads, so ensure you have the correct nozzle and attach it to the two-way valve. Inflation should take between three to five minutes. Quickly seal the two-way valve and top up with the one-way valve. Make sure you tighten your tethers to ensure the screen doesn't blow away. We recommend your table be the same height as the skirt of your screen. For the sake of this setup, we are using our own DVD player, but you can use whichever device you choose. Set up, but do not add power until setup is complete. Plug your HDMI from your device into your projector. Set up your speakers, placing the subwoofer in the middle of the screen and the speakers left and right accordingly. All power and cables go into the back of the subwoofer as shown. Right speaker into the right hand plug and left speaker into the left speaker plug. Take the RCA cable to your projector, attaching the adapter red and white into the projector's audio out. When adding power, we suggest tying a knot loosely for extra protection.
Remember, we're working with electricity, so work with some caution. Balance the level of your speaker, then turn on. Change the projector height according to your needs. Now just add the movie and watch. If you come across any errors, check to make sure all connections are correct and your entertainment is rolling. Make sure you have power to all devices. If you have an image but it is not clear, try to use the image settings on the projector. Distance, if your image doesn't fit the screen. Zoom, for minor adjustments similar to distance. Aspect ratio, change your view to widescreen. Flip, in case the image is backwards. Focus if the image is blurry. With all these little things, we will speed up the cleanup. If you are worried about your screen being dirty, be aware that you can unzip the surface from the screen and wash in a front loader washing machine on cold and hang out to dry.